Hello everyone, welcome back. This is ZTube with another 7 Days to Die video and we are back in the ZTube survival series. Um, we're in day 20. Um, it seems, well, it, it doesn't seem like low ages. It is ages since I've last played this uh, this game. I think it's been about 12 days since I've been in this world. So, uh, just been busy with, you know, the admin of life, which really gets in the way of playing computer games. It's irritation, but there you go. Um, so, anyway back to um this so last time we were building this uh, our our base our our base which will be also our horde base i uh, finished the outside so we should have an impenetrable base now i hope um and basically i think what i need to do is collect a shitload of um resources really i mean that's basically what i'm going to do today get a lot of resources together and um try and get my horde uh my horde no my get my base ready for the horde i'm gonna make another forge that's what i'm gonna do so what do I need for a forge? I need stone, clay, leather, duct tape, iron pipes. Okay, I've got all that stuff apart from the clay, I think. Clay soil. Okay, we'll get some clay soil. Uh, I know where I can get that from. Um, have we got a shovel? Yes, we do. All right. Got enough already. Cool. Okay, that was it. That was easy. Uh, I'm going to quickly check my garden while I'm out here. See how the garden's doing. Yeah, I think I picked it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I picked it the last time I was here. I'll take this car apart, though, while I'm here. Concrete mix. We need... What do we need? Sand, stone, and cement. Crushed sand is out of stone. Yeah. Tell you what then. Let's put that in there and make as much sand as we can. Because we need the sand. And eight seconds we'll have another forge. I'll put that this side. Boom. Put the rest of that wood in there. Uh, oh, you know what? We have got um, these two things. We don't have another crucible, but that's okay. Um, we don't really need the crucible unless we're going to be making steel, which we won't be in this forge. So, um, oh, actually, we will be in this forge. It's the other one that we won't need this one. Mm. I don't know. Well, we can we can move them across if we need to. Right, that can be... That's doing brass. So where's the lead? Have we got lead? We don't have very much lead, but we'll... Stick some lead in. And everything else can go in here. The iron and the clay. We don't have much clay, but we'll put it in anyway. Alright. And... Anything else we'll get later now i think is this the sell box yeah we've got loads of cash and we've got a load of stuff to sell so tell you what we're gonna do today which we didn't get to do the last time was sell some stuff uh i think yeah you know what we'll sell all this stuff we're gonna sell them sell that uh, i don't think i want to sell that right now i might keep that Yep, I think that's everything. Uh, and fuel, we need fuel. Have we not got any fuel? Oh mm, dear. We ain't got no fuel. Okay, right, that's something we need then. It's either oil shale or um, some fuel. Oh god. What are you doing? Here's a good opportunity to test my base. Come on, asshole. Let's go. Up here, if you can. Can you make it? Nope. It's 
See, that's the base. And that is basically what he will do all day. He'll just sit there, jump up and down, try and get up, and he can't do it. And I can just sit here and, you know, have a sit down. Or I can shoot him. And he just sits there all day and go tries to get up and up the up the thing, can't get up, and then eventually I kill him. So, uh let's fill this up. Right, let's get ourselves to the trader. So the trader is where is he? Over here. Trader Forge, yeah. Okay. Oh damn, what am I doing? Pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the trader. And while I'm there, I'm gonna try and uh, take, whenever I see a car, I'm gonna take the car apart. I can see two right there, so I'm gonna take these two cars. And I'm basically just gonna do that for the whole journey and hopefully collect a bunch of fuel while I'm doing that. Way. Oh damn. <laughs> damn it. I've just crashed into a massive gully. Can I get out of here? I don't know if I can, you know. Shit. I might have to pick up my... Oh. Right, tell you what I will do is um, uh, I need some wood and I'll need to make a storage chest, put my crap in. There's a zombie. Shut up, you. Shut up. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. What is wrong with me today? Seriously. Right, um, where's my bike? Oh, God. I sprained my leg now. Damn it. I'm doing very well today. Actually acting like a fool. You son of a bitch. Shut up. Oh, hold on. Got him. Quiet fool. Where did the deer go? Oh, there he is. There's the deer. Um, nope. That's what I want. Okay. We will get to this trader eventually. I promise. If we can get back up this hill. Right. Let's go. I just had a thought, actually. There's that place that we saw that had like 50 million cars. Um, is it that one? No, that one's concrete. Concrete. Where's the cars? Show our map. Well, that was the one I just looked at and it said concrete. Concrete. Cars. Yeah. Let's go with the cars first. We'll get all them cars, take them all apart, that'll give us a load of fuel, and then we can carry on to the trader and finish our journey. Alright, we've got a plan. I like having a plan. Shut up, you. Shut up, nurse. There's a car. There's a car. Okay, I'll take this car apart. Whoa! What the? 
What are you doing, you crazy spider? Jeez. Where'd you even come from? Man. This game. Right, we're all we're fully fueled now, that's good. Fully fueled and ready to go. So uh, yeah, the reason I need fuel so much is because I'm going to do a lot of digging uh, this episode and in order to dig we need fuel for my auger. So because I need stone, we need sand, we need uh, clay, we need iron, I mean we need basically everything in order to get our base fully functional. So. That's what we need to do. So let's get it done. Alright, that was good. I think we now, yeah, we've got like 4,000 fuel. That's loads of fuel. That's, that'll do us for ages. Well, for a while, anyway. Get more fuel out of there. A little bit more out of there. Tell you what, if this thing works, my guy is thirsty. If the vending machine does work, uh, I've. What am I looking for? Cash. I don't think I need 14,000, but all I need is a drink. Um, what can we have? Golden rod. Yeah, we'll have all the golden rods. Why not? Uh, I'll do. That's all we need, really. Um, what can I scrap that, scrap that there we go okay, let's go enough dilly dallying we've got loads of fuel so we need to get ourselves to the trader sell all that crap make some money maybe buy some stuff off him see what he's got and then I'm going to get digging Right, here we are. Oh, and I left the door open from the last time that was here. I just realized I drank... I got that drink, the water, and I didn't even drink it. It was a bit silly, wasn't it? Right, uh, what do we need? We don't need all this crap on us. Get rid of that. We'll keep that iron shovel. In fact, we'll sell that iron shovel, and we'll sell that, keeping that. What do you get for an engine? 200? Mm, we'll sell an engine. I mean, we've got quite a few of them. And I think that's it. Keeping everything else. Yeah. I'll just put everything else that I'm not selling in here so that I don't accidentally sell it because I have been known to do that. It has happened in the past. Let's go in, see what this dude's got. Hopefully he's got some... Did I bring the cash? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. Hey, Trader Bob. <laughs> His stuff's not um, respawned. Right, sell the... Sell that. Sell that. Boom. Okay. That was good. We got like quite a bit of cash there um right so we've got like 22,000 bucks what can we buy Ooh, four by four accessories we could buy that that's not bad fireman's almanac what's this all the conditioning get gives you 10 percent greater th hyperthermal resistance all right yeah i'm gonna get that that sounds decent sham chowder recipe yeah We'll get that. Uh, anything else? Nah, nothing in there. Gunpowder. I'm just going to buy... I mean... Yeah, it's only 20. Might as well. Rebar frame blocks. Uh, is that worth buying? Hmm. 
We might need them for building. I'm gonna buy them. We've got loads of money. Why not? Just buy everything. Uh, concrete mix. He's got concrete mix. How much is that? 1,200. Is that a bit wasteful? Buying concrete mix. When we can make it. Nah, we'll just make it. It's not that much though. 1,200. Could buy that as well. You know what? Why not? Let's just buy it. Cobblestone. It's 80. That's oh, cheap. Nails. We don't need the nails. Uh, what else he got? Ammo. We could buy some ammo off him. He's got 97 pistol ammo. Uh, um, he doesn't have anything else worth buying. Steel arrows. Hmm. Could buy some steel arrows off him as well. Why not? Nah. We'll make them. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we will buy them. 900. Why not? Let's get them. Dude. Okay. Um, I think that's it that we need. Yeah, I'll go cool. back now. Oh wait, should I get a job off him? You got any jobs? Got any jobs, mate? Uh, what? Just it's north that we live, isn't it? So you got any jobs I north? Really Buried supplies. A man. I'll do that for you, mate. No bother. No bother at all. All right, right. Let's go back. Um. Oops. <laughs> Crashed into the traders thing right so we've got loads of money uh, we've got a bunch of stuff that we bought that's decent so let's get back to that place we will collect all of that um, the what's it the um, hey there's some coal there should we get that while we're there yeah let's get the coal where's my auger uh, what was I saying uh, the cement yeah we'll get the cement that we have uh, found this coal will come in handy because we'll need to make gun uh, bullets we always need to make bullets Let's go. That was alright. We got a bit of coal. It's in here, isn't it? Yep. Here we are. Yeah, there's loads of stuff in here. Let's get this. Here we go. Yeah, there's cobblestone and cement in here. Loads of it. Oh yeah, we didn't unpick this thing. Oh, we didn't bring any lockpicks. Damn. Can we make lockpicks now? How do you make... Oh, you need to make it on the workbench. Damn. I forgot there was a thing here. Well, we'll definitely come back for that. But just not today. We've got other things on our agenda today. head back down. What's in here? Oh, I tell you what, there is in here. I think there's some loot in here somewhere. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, I missed a moldy backpack. Not very good looting it though. Oh, well. Okay, cool. There's one more over there. Let's get that last one. I got that suitcase, so definitely. Remember getting that suitcase. So, have I woke somebody up here? Where is he? He's there. Quiet down. Right, let's head back. Let's head back uh, to our house. We shall um, crash into this wall first because that was definitely meant to happen. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. There's a thing there. Did we drive past that already? We did, didn't we? Should we go get that? Nah, we'll do that another day. We'll do it another day. We're going home. Okay, here we are. Home sweet home. Once again. I'll get myself uh, unloaded. So, uh, what I'm going to do is get this stuff, all this stuff on the forge, the conch, the cement, and that we can turn into that. That can get turned into gunpowder. That can go on the forge. Got more nitrate there. Okay, so gunpowder. We need some... We need some fuel so let's put that on put that on in fact we'll put half of that on and half on the other one gunpowder oh we can make stacks of gunpowders make a stack and then the rest we'll make out of that there we go cool uh how can we we can make concrete mix here out of that so what do we need more Stone. We need more stone for that. Okay, fine. Okay, so I think uh, we're over here. We had a mine, didn't we? What was in the mine? It was coal and nitrate, I think. So that's not really what we need right now. What we need is iron and stone. Oh, <laughs> I literally just drove, drove over some iron. So I think that's where we'll start digging. Where is it? I literally just drove over it. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get this iron. So we need iron. We need iron for making forged iron, which we'll need for um, general building, and also for making repair kits. And we need iron to make junk tower ammo. So we need as much iron as we can get for now. Okay, nice. That was a, a good mine. We've got iron and nitrate down there, so that's sweet. So. That's a good place to go mining. Uh, where's my bike gone? There it is. Uh, I think over here, I marked when I went wandering the other day, the other night, I marked a few spots around here and I can't exactly remember what they were, but we'll see what we've got. Pretty sure we marked some stone and some um, other minerals. What was this one? Oh, that's cool. Okay, we've got enough gunpowder for now, I think. So that was coal. That's some more coal. That's nitrate. Okay, we'll come back for those. We don't need them right now. What we could do with is stone. How much stone do we have? Oh, we've got quite a bit of stone. I think what we could do is begin a mine for just stone. We could actually just dig directly into this cliffside here and just go straight forward. Why don't we do that? Haven't done that before. So, let's do it. Hey, get out of my cave. Damn you, woman. There's another one. Find your own cave. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish my fuel up uh, digging this cool cave base and maybe uh, some other time we'll come back and um, do something with this because it's quite cool actually. I've never really built, a, I've never built into the side of a cave. Um, although, because the zombies can dig, it would not be good as a horde base. It'd be a rubbish idea, but it'd be cool as just like a, I don't know, some sort of place to, in fact, what I could do is put my forges down here, have an underground cave forging mansion. It's not really a mansion, is it? It's more like a, well, it's just a cave. Right, that's a sort of fuel. Um, but we do have the start of a cool underground base as well, in built into the mountainside. So if we built like some sort of um, cave door, that would be would be quite smart. But we're out of fuel, officially out of fuel. So let's get back to the base, get stuff building. And uh, this episode is going to be a double episode. Uh, I'm going to cut a lot of the digging out because no one wants to watch me digging for an hour and a half. I mean, some people might, but, you know, I'm not going to put that in. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is build... Oh, I can hear a screamer. So let's see what happens when we have a screamer here. Where is she? There she is. Hello. You gonna scream? There we go. Right. She called in a bunch of people. Yep, I can see them coming over here. Hello. I can get some target practice in with my hunting rifle. She's dead. Let's see if I can get some nurse. Yeah, that was a good shot. I don't say so myself. Oh, here we come. Hello. See, this is great. Look at them. They're just like, oh, I need to get to that guy. Let's get him. Oh, all I can do is jump. No. Nice. Oh dear, what a silly bunch of zombies they are. Right, uh, what's going in here? Oh, that's for brass, not that one. We don't want it in there. So we want uh, more, what do we want? Iron in here, yeah. Just a collar iron in there. And we'll make junk turret ammo out of the rest of that stuff. 38, it's not that much, but I'll do. And we want cement uh, concrete mix I mean but we've got cement in here I think haven't we yep there is we need sand and stone I think so concrete mix we'll just make as much as we can what do we need S sand yeah we need sand so how much sand can I make oh 5,000 no, I don't need that much we need about 2,500. That much sand. Yeah. Oh, wait, we've got more sand here. Forgot about that. There we go. So, cement. How do you make cement? Do you make that in the forge? Oh, you just need stone for cement. Okay. Well, we can do that. We've got stone. In fact, I'll tell you what, then. We'll put the stone in this one. This can be brass, lead and stone. This forge is what this can be. And while it's doing that, we'll make as much bullet casings as we can. And as much of that as we can. Because I think we should have a load of gun... Oh yeah, we've got a thousand gunpowder cooking in there. So that will keep us going for ages. Um, right. So the next thing on the agenda is to get my nail gun 
and finish upgrading the uh, yeah finish upgrading this outside of this base oh we need cobblestone I forgot about that where's the cobblestone oh, I've got loads of cobblestone that's all right plenty so we'll go around it and then we'll go around again and that will give it the double cement uh, action as it's known and it will be impenetrable this actually might be wasteful because um, the zombies can't actually get up here anyway so really no need for it to be cement but I just want my base to look cool so that's what I'm gonna do and if you don't like it well build your own base just leveled up uh, you know what would be a good idea is to put it into mining 69er no mother load yeah because you get 40 40% 40 more that's good yeah we'll get that you get 40% more ore and things from mining. That is a good thing to have. Oh, what? <laughs> really? We get to the last block and we can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. That's annoying. Uh, we've got more in there. Get to the last block and we run out of cement. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Now we're fully cemented up. So nobody's getting in here. Nobody. If they do get in here, then fair play to them. So we need to decide on the design of this base. Now, at the minute, it's basically just a square, which is fine. Squares are good. But we need it to have a bit more pizzazz, because... Uh, you know, we can't just live in a square. So, what I was thinking is if we bring this in here, like so, and fill that all in round, then we can have a level, a level up. Um, might just be simpler if I just build it than trying to explain it. I know what it looks like in my head. That's what I'll do. I'll just build it. Okay, we've run out of uh, cement mix. So we're going to have to just wait for the cement mix to finish. So, and I can't really build... Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Crazy dude. Look at him. There's a load of runner... Uh, they're called football football dudes man this guy will not die how many hits Jeez. he's had like 20 arrows in him let's try and get these guys Hey, he's hitting the block. He's not supposed to do that. How dare you? Whoa! Damn it. He jumped on top of his mate. <laughs> so, it's not impenetrable. Mostly impenetrable, though. Screamer. Let's try and get her before she screams. Oh, damn. I think she screamed. Took her head off, though. No, she called in her buddies. Her zombie buddies. Is 
It's the forges. The forges bring in um, screamers and more zombies because they the fires attract attract them. You know what I think we should do is go up one more one more block, one more level. Because that zombie got on top of the other zombie and was able to jump up and hit me. Which is no good. No point in having an impenetrable base if it's not impenetrable. Really. Because then it's kind of defeats the purpose of the base in the first place. All these gunshots and forges are definitely going to... Oh, I thought she was dead. All these um, gunshots and forges are going to bring in shitloads of zombies. So, uh, anyway. Carry on with what I was doing. Yeah, I think we need to go up one more level. Definitely one, one more because that guy was able to jump up. So, uh, what do we need? We need rebar. Yeah, we've got loads of them. Rebar frames. So, can we make the correct shape? Oh, no, you can't make it in that. So, what we'll have to do is make it in cobblestone. Which, we've got loads of cobblestone. So, we can make flagstone blocks. It's like, make 50 of them. Um, have we not got any more flagstone blocks from before? We used them all. Oh no, we've got 16 there, yep. Yeah. There we go. Now that is an impenetrable base. Definitely now. Hopefully. Definitely, hopefully. Okay, uh, right, where are we with our cement production? You know what, we could really do with two concrete mix, cement mixers. How do we make a cement mixer? 25 iron spring, oh that's easy, let's make another one. An engine, do we need an engine? Yeah, we've got an engine. And uh, oh, mechanical parts. Yeah, we've got them. Loads of them. Hey, okay. what? We can't make one. We did make one. Oh yeah, we've got to make it on the thing. I think my gunpowder should be ready now. Yep, it is. So, I think how much? Oh, we've got quite a lot of them and quite a lot of them, and we should have more building in here. Yep. Yeah. Tell you what, we'll turn them off. And we'll um, bullet casings. No. Bullet tips. Oh, we can't make any bullet tips. We need more lead. Hmm. Lead. Don't have any lead. I've got 16 lead. Uh, it's not very much, but. Might as well put it on. Right, uh, what we need now is, I think we basically need more resources, so we could dig it with our pickaxe. Have we not got any steel? No, okay, we've got an iron pickaxe there. Let's just use that, I suppose. We'll do it by hand, the old fashioned way. We'll get a load of XP for it. Okay. So we need more stone. Um, so let's go back to our stone place. I'm going to go to my underground base. What I'm going to do is... Reload this bad boy. Put it at. Put it there. Put my headlamp on. And we can get digging. 
can hear some zombies coming. Okay, he dealt with him, okay. Okay, it's morning time. Let's head back. Uh, I got quite a bit of stone there. I think I got about 1500 stone. Sorry, lady. Look at this place. Wow. It's like a Order's Paradise. Keep on, keep on production going. Right, uh, okay, it's daytime. What I'm gonna do is uh, get. It's it's horde night tonight, so we need to get this place ship shape for horde night. So, what I'm gonna do is go and take some cars, more cars apart in this town. I'm gonna just go around the town and get all the cars that I can find and take them all apart and we'll get all the fuel that we can. And then we need to concentrate on getting as much stone as possible, I think. Is really where what we need to get ourselves into. Prepare ourselves for horde night. There's a bird. Oh, damn you, bird. Right, that's it. Damn invincible birds. What the hell? Why would he not die? <laughs> okay. Let's uh, continue on. Cobblestone thing there. Uh, I did bring my, s yeah, I did, yeah, my shovel. Take these. There's probably more in here. Oh, damn. How did he get through that door? That's what I want to know. chest. Oh, nice. Hunting rifle schematic. Yeah, we'll have that. Okay, there's not there's not uh, any stuff in here. I thought there would be, but there's not. Oh well. It's fine. We did get some decent loot in here. That's locked. Is this the way out? Yeah. A munitions box, though. Sweet. It's a nice little bit of secret loot. Okay. Oh, military boots. Yes. Now we're talking. Let's put my military boots on. Modify that. And uh, we'll modify my military boots. Put that on it. Complete that. Nice. Well, there's a building site as well. We'll take this apart because we'll get more cement. We need that for all the building that we're going to be doing. Wow, we get loads of um, stone out of those stone piles. Is this sand? I hope it is. I hope it is sand. Excellent. Let's take this as well while we're here. Uh, we got loads of sand from that. 1500 sand. That's good. 
a good amount of sand. Is there any more concrete mixes? Cobblestone there. There's one. Concrete mix. Check up here then. Uh, okay, there's a couple of sleeping dudes. Let's what we'll do. Put that down like that. Shut the door. Let him do with it. Close the door again. <laughs> Damn. Didn't die. Come on. Hit him. Am I hitting? I am hitting him. Oh god. Whoa. Where'd you guys come from? Right, well, looks like we're. Oops. He's not dead, is he? Oh, they came from that door. Okay. Uh, oh, he destroyed the stairs. It's all right. Nice. Got some more stuff out of that. What's what's in here? What's that? Stone and sand. Okay, we'll get some more of that stuff. What's this? That's just clay. Okay. Nice. Continue on. Trade auto. Yep, yeah, there's got to be some stuff in here. Okay, there's a cheerleader. Damn you, cheerleader. Whoa! Where did he come from? Sneaky zombie. Anything good up here? There's a... Whoops. Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's uh Have we been here? We have been here, haven't we? This is that place that we came. Is this the same building? It is the same building. This is the same but this is the building we came to when we first found Buttholeville. And we had to do a, a, a chess um a quest thing for the uh trader. I remember now. Huh. Okay. Right, there's a couple more cars. I think that'll do us on cars for now. Once we've got about two or three more, uh, we'll um, take a couple more apart, and then I think we've got enough fuel. We'll get some a load more stone. We should have how much fuel have we got? We've got fifteen hundred fuel. Yeah, we've got like two thousand fuel. Uh, and I think that'll do us, to be honest. Right, let's get back. I'm going to go to the stone mine, get as much stone as I can get in the time that's left. And then I will um, head back to base and we will finish building our base. Heard a dog. Heard something. Oh, it's a wolf. Damn you, wolf. Tried to sneak up on me, did ya? Huh? So we'll take that animal fat because that uh, can be used for things. 
Uh, wolf tried to sneak up on me. Well, didn't work out for him. Okay, what I'm going to do is head back, get some stuff on the forge, and then continue digging. Okay, we're out of fuel. Um, the base, the underground cave is looking cool. It's 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. We've got 10 hours to get our base looking ship shape and ready for the horde. So I think that's plenty of time. So let's head back, get our stuff sorted together uh, and we can get everything on the forge that we need to do. Right, um, I'm just looking into whether I can make a shotgun turret, and it turns out I can. I need oil, I've got that. Motion sensor, uh, how do I make a motion sensor? Forged iron parts, yeah, I can make that. Okay, should we make like four of them? Why not? So, and then shotgun auto turret, because I found the recipe for a shotgun auto turret, and I just need a load of forged steel, which I am going to make on this forge. That's a building right now. Uh, yeah, so put that back on there. Okay. Cool, um, we'll get that making as well, because that would be nice. Eight minutes, all right. It's 4 p.m., um, can't do any more building until I've got more cement, so, uh, and also my auto turret is getting built currently. So what I'll do is I'm going to go somewhere interesting, hopefully, maybe this uh, this is an army base here. Should we go here? Let's go here. We'll go to this army base, uh, check this place out, and then we can um, get back. him dead. Uh, oh god, is a runner. Reload, reload. Wow, this guy's not going down. Feral soldiers are tough. Yeah, they don't mess about those feral soldiers. Come on, wake up. he came up from did he come from there no there's a guy there already I'll 
shut that door for a minute while we check these things. Ooh, what was that? A level 3 machine gun. Sweet. Level 3 M60. I think I've only got a level 1 at the moment. So that is good. That's a good find before the horde. Before, what's that? Battery bank as well. Excellent. Just built a generator bank, but a battery bank's good. Let's take that apart. I think we'll get some stuff for it. No, just some mechanical parts. I think we've got a lot of mechanical parts. I think the last time I checked I had 600 and something. I think we're good for mechanical parts at the minute. But you can never have too many, really. I don't think. Do you think it's been six minutes yet? Probably has. My shotgun turret's probably ready. Oh, it's done that glitch thing where um, I've got 10 bullets in my hunting rifle. I think if I switch away and switch back, oh yeah, it stayed. Sweet. I'll save that for later. Cause that will come in handy, I think, for the horde. More, st oh yes, a pump shotgun. Yes. Now we're talking. We're in business now. Yeah, pump shotgun. Sweet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else worth checking in this place. So let's get back. Our shotgun um, thingy bob should be ready. Oh man. Right, we've got an M60. A level 3 M60. That's good. And we've got... Quite a bit of ammo for it. Right, cool. We've got our shotgun turret. Nice. Right, where are we going to put this? I think. I mean, really we just need to put it on a corner, don't we? And aim it that way. And just hope that the zombies come from this side. Yeah. Oh, I've got to power it, obviously. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? Um, where did our generator go? We built one already, somewhere. There it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stick this somewhere. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna put it on the wall next to it. So, Generator banks needs an engine, I assume. Yep, and a bunch of fuel. Oh, refuel. Just fill her up. And then we need my wire tool thing. Wire tool. There we go. And then if we turn this bad boy on. Nice. So we want it aiming basically. Well, we want it like that, don't we? Yeah. And then we need to put ammo in it. So where's my shotgun ammo? 150? I'll just shove it in. Cool. Lock the ammo. We've got more there. That, I'll keep that on me because I'll use that with my pump shotgun. So I want to try that out tonight. So that'll be good. Okay. Nice. Um, you know what? I think I've got enough to make another one. Don't know if I'll have enough time to build it in time. Shotgun parts. What else did I need? Polymers and oil. Polymers and oil. Where's the polymers? Polymers, oil. Shotgun, auto turret. 
to get another one. Okay, I don't think I'll be built in time, but that's cool. We'll have that for the next time. Right, we're ready for the horde. Um, I managed to, I had enough resources to build two shotgun turrets. I think I can build more, but I'll have to wait for the forge steel to, to build, uh, to forge. And I've got my junk turret over here. Unfortunately, I didn't get to finish my roof in time, which is a bit disappointing, but that's all right. Um, we'll finish it another time, but we are good for, um, I'm just checking that had enough fuel in it. Yeah, it's full up with fuel. So hopefully the zombies come from either this or this direction. I'm going to bet they come from that direction because that's the only place we don't have some sort of turret. <laughs> but we'll see. Here they come. They're coming from this side. Excellent. That's what I like to see. There's a bird. Miss the bird. Damn you, bird. I've got him. Just in time as well. Oops. I'm gonna go down there. What's going on down here? Seems to be working as it should. Oh wait, I forgot to put my flashlight on. No wonder I was wondering why it was so dark. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies down there. I'm just uh, gonna let the turrets do their job for now and take out the cops. The cops are quite annoying. Um, they're just all jumping up and down. really going through my bullets using this weapon. Tell you what, let's uh, change the direction of this turret's view. There we go. That's better. The more we kill, the more spawn. Uh, I'm going to take the shotgun's bullets out of here because there's no... Uh, bad guys over here and we can put it in here uh, stick it all in there Yeah, I'm glad I went with the extra level. I, I think they would have made it up if I had left it at where it was. Yep, there's a cop again. Ammo. 
I thought we had loads of ammo, but we're running through it no, in no time. I think the horde knight is set to maximum number of horde, uh, number of zombies, which is 64. So that means it spawns in 64, a maximum of 64 zombies at any one time, which seems excessive. You know what we didn't make? We should have made some uh, Molotovs. That's what we'll do for next time. Let's make a load of Molotovs. Whoa! Leaper. He got right up. Okay, so we've had one zombie make it up, and that was a spider zombie. And they're they can they can jump quite high. So it's not fully impenetrable. But I think he jumped on his shoulders of his mates, to be fair. Still coming. Um, there's no way we're gonna have enough ammo for all this. Um, I've just had a thought, actually. I don't have any. No, I don't. I don't have any ammo. Uh, any fuel. I was wondering if I could make a Molotov, but I don't have enough fuel. Do I have any grenades? I wonder if I've got some grenades or explosives. Oops. Down there. Um, let me just check. What have I got? Grenades. I've got some of those bullets and those bullets. No, I don't have any explosives. Damn. Oh well. Oh, I can make some more junk turret ammo. Make some of that. So, next time we will make some uh, some more explosives or molotovs.
Whoops, don't go down there. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, no way, he blew up my shotgun turret. Oh, you bastard. I'm gonna pay for that. This guy won't die. Okay. Wow, he really uh, did a lot of damage to me there. Whoops. Only had 38 health. Didn't realize. Oh, what? How did you get up here? Oh, damn it. God, that was close. She made it up. Let's try a different corner. If I go around, will they follow me? It's getting a bit dangerous over there. I feel like they're almost making it up. We're out of bullets completely. they've broken a block down there. They have. Stop it. Okay, we're out of everything. That's not good, is it? Oh, flipping hell. Okay, I think we may have to run. The impenetrable base, impenetrable base, turns out is not actually impenetrable. It's mostly impenetrable. Okay, let's get on here. Come on, zombies, over here. Oi! Get away from the base. <laughs> right, okay. Come this way. Bloody zombies. I think I'm killing many of these zombies. Hmm. Run them all down. I don't think the bike does a lot of damage to the zombies. Because they're not dead. I think I'm just gonna have to drive around until four. Drive them, if I can get them to come around the 
the side of the army base. Then they'll all get blown up, hopefully. Or at least uh, quite a lot of them will. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one way to kill them. They're all still runners. Tell you what we'll do then. There's another army base down here. And you come this way. Come on. Okay, uh, let's get back here and see what happened. I mean, the base worked perfectly for most of the night. There was a few issues towards the end of the night and I can see exactly what happened. They, they destroyed that block and then they could get up here and then they can do the same again. And if they're on top of each other's heads, that's why they started being able to get up. Damn zombies. So that one block caused all the trouble. Oh, hello. Oh, damn. He's ran all that way. Did you die? Oh, shit. I'm bleeding out. Oh, uh, don't die now. <laughs> That'd be stupid. Uh, what do I need? Bandage. God. Okay. Uh... Get a, get a first aid kit done. Oh dear. Right. That was stressful. Uh, imagine getting all the way through the horde and then dying right at the end from one zombie. That'd be stupid. That would be really stupid. I think that was a steel axe I just found. That was pretty good. Get that arrow if I can. Can of sham. I mean, the rest of the base looks absolutely... Okay, really? Why can't I pick up these arrows? Okay. Right. Um, well, annoyingly, one of my um, turrets got destroyed, which was quite irritating. The other one is fine. Um, the base was absolutely fine until that block got destroyed. And then they started making their way up and I nearly died. Until then, I did absolutely fine. So I think I'm going to call it a win. I mean, it wasn't impenetrable. I know I said it was going to be impenetrable. It was pretty much impenetrable. But it does need a bit of work. So hmm, I wonder if we can... There's got to be a way to adjust that. So we'll. I'll think about that for the next horde. But I still feel like that was a successful successful horde. So I am going to leave the episode here. This has been a double episode. Day 20 and day 21 is what we've just done. And we're now on day 22. So I will leave it there. Thank you for watching if you're still here. I have been ZTube and this has been the ZTube Survival Challenge. Uh, if you like the video, think about clicking the like button. And think about clicking the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.